but you wanted some help with home remedies and we are going to get to it but right now let's start from where we are so yes for me that's a third day of being homebound I don't know exactly for you how many days has it been but you might be going crazy already at first it was so nice because I thought there is so much time that I can spend with the family that I never had before dinners together time together watching movies together but there is a time kind of enough and we need to have a space for ourselves and but at the same time we don't know what to do with ourselves so I had an idea let's do the live video you can ask me questions and not really sure if I'm gonna be able to see it though so uh, maybe that's not a good idea I will be kind of leading that and so what I wanted to say first I wanted to start from take the path of least resistance men are so much better in it than women we are so hard on ourselves we try to solve everybody's pr problems we try to hover everybody and try to make the world a happier place at the expense of our health our sleep and our kind of uh, kind of life in general so what I want to say today is just try to rethink. You have so much time, there is no excuse. There is no excuse to start looking in a mirror and thinking of your schedule and your life as it is going to go forward. As you see, it's not important what we have. When you open your closet, maybe this is the time to clean up your closet and kind of think do you really need all this stuff there maybe we can donate half of those and this is the time to do that well that's one of the options that you can do the second option is i wanted to still talk about this path of least resistance don't stress over what is happening yes it's not pleasant yes people are suffering and unfortunately a lot of people have died already but we've been through uh, situations like these and we survived 9 11 was the last one i remember and we lived through it and if i have to say what i feel about what is happening I like what I see. I see my neighbors are waving to me from the distance. Yes, we're practicing six feet separation, but it's still from the distance without words, we can wave to each other. And that wasn't the case before. So I'm noticing a lot of changes, a lot of changes for good was it is it something that we really need maybe maybe we need to pause a little maybe we need to put the pause on life as it is and rethink the life moving forward america is the best place right now and ever to be in we are going to get through it we are finding the solutions any day we're going to come out of it and start rebuilding so there is no there is no need to uh, be scared or frightened just move forward help others and take care of yourself self-care is self-love this is what I always say when you come to me for a facial we always talk about life we talk about how important it is for you to care for yourself and you know what I always hear? I don't have the time. I want the fastest way to do what I need to do and I just need to leave the house. And I need to look at the computer or look at the phone while I'm walking. That's another thing. I have not seen one person walking with the phone when they are outside walking with dogs, 
or, or just taking a walk. I have not seen one person with the phone. Do you remember just a week ago or maybe two weeks ago, people didn't notice the other person who was facing them, walking ahead of them. They didn't notice them. They didn't care to notice them because the phone, the person on the other side of the screen was more important than the person in front of them. And that also applies to the time when we went out with friends and we hung out at the restaurant or a bar and everyone was on the phone. Everybody was talking to you and to the person on the other side of the phone. And that is the, definitely what had changed. I feel that had changed. We're paying more attention to others and we are much better in receiving the energy of love from others. So this is a positive. So let me finish right there. But all what I wanted to say is you do have the time right now to take care of yourself or think of things, what you can do for yourself from now on to, to feel that you are happy to make yourself happy before you make everyone else happy. Because the beauty comes from inside. If you're not happy, if you're not satisfied, if you think you're doing everything for others, nothing for yourself, somehow, some way, you're not happy. And if you're not happy, no matter what you do for others, they're not gonna be happy too because they are feeling the energy from you. They feel the, the low energy, the dissatisfaction or doing something because you have to. So that's where I stop. Self-care is self-love. So since I couldn't figure out how to read the chat or be on the chat, I am going to give you two important things that are going to save you from having a double chin after all this time that we have, the spare time that we have on our hands. And what do we do during this time? We are in bed watching Netflix or watching the news and getting depressed and our neck is down. And then our face is sad. So guess what's gonna happen? When you come back after all this for a facial, the first thing I'm going to notice is the, the lower part of your face is going to drop. And there is a solution. I definitely have a solution for that and it's a natural solution, but I want you to help me. I want you to do something right now so you don't get, you don't get this. And so the first thing what I wanted to ask you is please don't lie down and read your book don't watch the news or, or, or the videos. The news are depressing, so go on a diet a little bit. Just watch them once every couple days. Nothing changes, we are moving forward, so the news is on a positive. We are coming out of it already, so we have succeeded with the fl flattening of the curve, so it's all good. Let's make ourselves a little bit happier by not being bombarded with the breaking news someone died and that's unfortunate but we don't have to be suffering because the whole world needs to be just being together and being coming to the end of this rather than staying pausing and being scared of what is going to happen next so that's the first thing that is going to be reflected when you're sad, when you're upset, this is where it's going to come out too. You're going to have the face dropped from here on to the neck. So you, if you're my client, you have the best weapon, actually two of them, to prevent what is happening because collagen is a glue that holds us together and your firming peptide and crepey skin are extremely, extremely potent in rebuilding the collagen and strengthening the cells, building the elasticity. So if you have those products, 
use them and you double the amount of them right now, you can definitely use them three times a day, not two times a day. You can still go online to speranzi.com and get the um, product from BOC skincare products. There is a line there you can click on and purchase Crepey Skin and Firming Peptide. These are the things I wanted to cover before I, before I go into home remedies. What you can do today to help yourself, because you can't see me, your facials are not going to be regular anymore, and you might not like the way your face looks like after a month. So I'm gonna help you, and if you do this, I guarantee you're not gonna have a problem. So let me just regroup right now and see. Um, okay, I can't see the computer anymore. So I am hoping you're hearing me and I'm hoping, I'm hoping you see me because what I'm gonna say right now is going to be fairly uh, simple, but really, really good. So how can I ask you Okay, I can't, I can't ask you. So here we go. The first thing is glowing skin. So when we're upset, when we're sad, or when we have too much time on our hands and we have too much wine, the skin gets dehydrated. So if you're not drinking enough water, or if you are having too many glasses of wine, one or the other, is going to affect your skin negatively. You're going to have dry skin, consequently wrinkles and dark circles. So the first thing, dry skin. How do you take care of it at home? What do you do at home with what you have right now to help your dark circles and dry skin? You must have a lemon or at least lemon juice. I prefer fresh. Uh, fruits and veggies then concentrated but if you don't have the fresh lemon use the juice of it from the concentrate put it in a glass bowl take a cotton and dip it and touch your face all over not the eyes avoid the eye area and cover the face cover the neck cover the chest and top of your hands because your hands are just just as prone to wrinkles as your face is. So now that we're washing the hands 50 million times a day, they need you to pay attention to them or they'll age you. So that's the lemon. How easy is that? So make sure you have no makeup on, of course, but you're not going anywhere, so you have no makeup on. So that's why I don't bring this up. So after your lemon, uh, juice is applied, you're gonna tingle slightly and wait maybe five minutes. Keep applying the keep applying the lemon juice until you feel you had enough of you need at least five times with it and you need to feel the tingle. No skin is too sensitive for it. So don't worry, just let it burn a little bit. What this will do, it will exfoliate you. So this is a natural exfoliant and that is fruit acids. It's natural fruit acid or citric uh, acid. Our cleansers are based on uh, fruit acids and they are wonderful. So later on when you get busy and life gets crazy again, just know that my cleansers are going to replace the home remedy. So there. Second thing, your body. You must be dry by now as well. We are in the spring. This is the first week of spring and our skin is changing. Our body might be a little drier than usual. So what do you do? Do you drink coffee? Most of us do. If you drink coffee, those coffee grinds are amazing exfoliants that you can just add a little bit of shower gel to it or whatever you want, just something that will clump it up 
and use it on your body. Make sure the body is dry when you want to scrub that with the coffee grinds. It has to be dry. You can shower it later, but don't wet the skin before you exfoliate that. So scrub your body, scrub your feet, scrub your elbows, whatever, whatever you want to do, just don't touch the face and the up until the chest area. Just don't touch that with the coffee grinds because it's too harsh. Okay, so that's your exfoliant for your body and for your feet. So that's your own pedicure. Okay, so what else you wanted to know? Today, someone um, who has ordered products, Lisa, hi, if you're on, I'm not seeing you, but I know what you wanted to ask, home remedies, moisturizers what can you do to moisturize your face yes there's so much you can do whatever it's on the kitchen counter avocados bananas mangoes pineapple whatever it's not the pineapple is a citric acid so you will use this as an exfoliant anything that is soft fruit colorful you can use uh, on your face as a moisturizer. How would you do that? First, you exfoliate, so it's the lemon. Then you whip the, the, the avocado or mango or whatever else you have there. Just whip it up and add something to it, like maybe a drop of milk or yogurt or something else. Just don't put the honey in it because honey has sugar and uh, it, may, it may not absorb as the way I want it to absorb. Avocado is the best moisturizing agent because it has oleic acid, which your skin loves and it absorbs, it penetrates to the skin so deeply that you will feel moisturized right afterwards and you won't feel stickiness. So I recommend avocado, but anything will do. So whip it up, put it on the face, keep it on for five minutes, seven minutes, wash, rinse it off, and then use the serums, the firming serum, what I just mentioned at the beginning. It would be wonderful at that time after you masked your face. Uh, second product, the crepey skin on your neck not only that melts the, the fat in, in the lower parts of the neck, but it also uh, reduces the crepiness, the little loose skin that it's hanging there. So that's crepey skin. Um, and then follow up with a moisturizer. So think of layers for the skin, layers. Okay, so all that, if I have to summarize, all that would take you 10 minutes nothing more than that 10 minutes really and you could get into a routine do this once a week so even if you come to see me once a month for a facial I would love if you have done something at home and prepared the skin for me to do more to take you a little bit farther take you to a next level which is going to be make you looking younger a decade younger looking okay so I think that's about it I am hoping you've heard that and I'm hoping you're gonna take advantage of the simple home remedies I just recommended they are so simple everyone has lemon coffee and avocado or banana on the kitchen counter okay so stay well be safe and don't worry, just stay home and let this whole thing pass, okay? So I'll see you hopefully for your facial in the future. If not, go to speranzi.com, order your products, or go to safenaturalskincare.com and there's a lot of articles that I have written about the skin and what you can do. And um, okay, so for now, please, Take care of yourself. And once you take care of yourself, everything else is just going to fall in place. Okay, bye for now.